welcome sanjay welcome on policy hack i think this is uh, another round on uh, another topic that has been announced by dipp uh, or uh, mca uh, through the efforts of dipp on another important issue that is convertible notes yeah so uh, it's very important for the startup community so uh, let us structure it around some basic areas so to start with can i ask you what is a convertible note a convertible note is essentially a debt instrument and uh, uh, you if you want to give funding to a company you give them money company gives you an instrument saying that uh, uh, i have received 100 rupees from you i will not i will neither of us know how much uh, uh, this 100 rupees should convert into and therefore we will leave the conversion part for later if i receive a future funding then i will convert this 100 rupees at a discount to that valuation in the future funding so convertible note converts into a in equity instrument but at a later juncture and you don't have to value the company uh, at the moment when the uh, convertible note is issued so it's a convertible debt uh, but it is unlike a ccd or a ccps or uh, ocps or ocd which are traditionally recognized in india so ccd and ccps are already existing as instruments so what is new in the announcement then uh, the new is that uh, ccds uh, are compulsorily convertible they have to convert into equity at some point in time and uh, from a foreign exchange perspective uh, the conversion price uh, when it is issued to a non resident cannot be lower than the price at which the ccd or ccps was issued so uh, and second aspect is that it has to convert into equity unlike a ccd in a convertible note uh, uh, scenario a note does not necessarily convert into equity it converts only if you get a future round of funding so so to that extent it is not compulsorily convertible again uh, ocd or ocps are optionally convertible there is an option that uh, you may or you may not convert but that optionally uh, uh, optional conversion does not work in uh, convertible note because it is it becomes compulsorily convertible upon happening of a certain event so to that extent it is not uh, optionally convertible either although in india for domestic transactions a lot of people use optionally convertible uh, preference shares as the substitute for convertible notes but uh, uh, that is only for domestic transaction because like i said in fema if you issue this to a non resident uh, you can only issue ccd you cannot issue an ocd or ocps because they are considered to be debt instrument so so to that extent there was a need to separately define what a convertible note is and recognize that under fema for uh, foreign investments in india so you know again it uh, sounds to be very very similar uh yeah. so what is the problem you know uh, as you are saying with respect to fema and the mca has announced it so what is the problem so the problem really is that ocd and ocps which are the nearest version of uh, 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 convertible notes are considered to be debt instruments and uh, a debt instrument uh, requires uh, uh, issuance under the external commercial borrowing guidelines and not under the fdi guidelines and therefore to that extent it is not considered to be foreign investment you cannot uh, make foreign investments in indian companies using ocds and ocps uh, secondly if other than ocds ocps or through ocd ocps certain companies issue these uh, uh, instruments then they also run the risk of it considered to be deposit and deposit is something which is uh, uh, to be accepted only by uh, certain companies uh and if you are doing it other than an ocps or ocd uh you run the risk of it being a deposit so uh, there was a need to carve out within the definition of deposit a specific instrument which is convertible note so that people can subscribe to them and uh, companies could issue to to these people so are you saying that uh, the mca has announced this as a new kind of instrument and now rbi needs to kind of take note of it and for the lack on it absolutely mca mca has done its part mca because there were two parts to it one there was no such instrument as convertible note recognized under indian law as such so that was the first hurdle 
uh, in companies issuing convertible notes that has been uh, now taken away by mca by recognizing the instrument of convertible note the second hurdle now remains how to get money into indian companies using convertible note from foreign sources and uh, those are your people who are angel investors in the valley and other places of the world who have money to invest in indian companies who want to invest in indian companies but the instrument that they are all accustomed to for such investments uh, is convertible note which is not recognized in india so that is the major problem which we still have and hopefully rbi will address it uh, just uh, to give you some background rbi when we discussed with rbi this issue rbi was amenable to this rbi said that we will allow this for uh, startups uh, however first let mca recognize it and which is why we went to mca we asked mca uh, could you please uh, recognize convertible note as a as an instrument under companies act which mca after all these months has done now the ball goes back to the rbi and rbi will hopefully approve it rbi in its policy statement for startups which came in february along with other announcements uh, which took shape of policies uh, in in uh, recent months also announced that convertible note will is something that they will allow so rbi in principle has made a public statement that they will allow convertible notes for foreign investment in startups uh, it's just a matter of time now i believe that they will uh, uh, recognize and allow it specifically so are there uh, in the mca announcement on convertible notes are there any uh, preconditions are there any limitations um yeah a couple of limitations primarily firstly like i said this is only for startups uh, so only startups which uh, fall within definition of startups as uh, uh, notified by dipp uh, will uh, will be eligible for this and therefore you will need to ensure that you are not more than 5 years old or 25 crores of revenue etc and uh, the second thing and you also need to go and register on the dipp's uh, portal which is the startup india portal the second restriction is that any person who's giving money uh, to a startup by way of convertible note needs to bring in at least 25 lakhs so a company cannot issue a, a convertible note to an uh, to a person below 35 lakhs and uh, 25 lakhs sorry 25 lakhs that that is uh, uh, that is good also in a way that uh, the regulator is trying to protect the interest of small investors so you cannot a company calling itself a startup cannot go in the market and start duping people say that look i have a business model it's really good why don't you invest in this and people gullible people will invest 1 lakh 2 lakh 50000 25000 and in the end you just fly uh, out with all that money so that is something the mc is trying to protect i think it's a good thing and even in startup space though initial money uh, raising is is very small as compared to established companies but still 25 lakhs is a reasonable acceptable limit and anybody investing more than 25 lakhs is considered to be slightly serious and uh, uh, and thoughtful in his investment so it is understood that he will have made uh, his due diligence inquiries etc so that's that's the other restriction okay great so i think that's that that makes it easier i think so the convertible notes can now be used by startups yeah the good part is that after uh, yeah because of the uh, all the efforts and uh the uh, the support that dipp gave we now have a new class of instrument under the companies act and uh, that really to me is a is, is a big thing great right. thank you sanjay thanks, thanks for the presentation thank you sudhir on convertible notes and so i hope people will use the uh, discussion for their benefit thank you thank you